Hello crafty friends, I'm Lynn from Studio Kato and I am so happy to be part of this video hub for Alex Abira Designs today. Alex Abira Designs has a new release out for a couple days now and this is the third hub we're doing. There is a giveaway, I'll explain everything a little bit later while I'm ink blending. <laughs> Um, I am going to be using the Tulips Treasure Hot Foil Plates and the Coordinating Stencil Set. There is also a gorgeous stem set available which has the same images including a bunch of beautiful sentiment stamps as well. The Coordinating Die Set cuts out everything, every single sentiment and both of the large tulip images. So I'm using the Polished Brass Spellbinders Hot Foil today and I'm taping that down onto a piece of white cardstock along with this gorgeous tulip hot foil plate. I'm going to flip everything around so the hot foil plate is touching my glimmer system. I'm gonna heat that up and uh, then I'm going to roll that through my die cutting machine. And once that is out, the reveal is always so, so satisfying. So I'm just going to peel that away for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> and this foiled pretty much perfectly. There is one spot on one of the leaves that is not foiled, but you can't even see it. So I really, really love this <laughs> gorgeous flower. And with the coordinating stencils, it's very easy to color it in. So easy that I'm going to spice things up and give it a couple of different colors. So I'm going to color this with oranges, pinks, and purples. And with a layering stencil set like this, it's very easy to do because your ink blending doesn't have to be perfect. Because you're layering up your stencils and your ink blending, any mistakes you make in the first two layers don't really matter. <laughs> they get covered up quite quickly. This layering stencil set includes six stencils and there are three stencils per floral image. So each image has three layers and you have both the greenery and the flower on each stencil uh, together. So with some simple masking, you can easily ink blend both in different colors. I'm just using some washi tape to mask parts off. Now for the giveaway. So we are doing a YouTube hop today, so there is more inspiration than just my video. There are plenty of guests uh, designing with us today. You can find the hop order in the description below, along with all the giveaway information if I go too quickly here. But all you really have to do is leave a comment on each stop of the hop. You can always like and subscribe to each channel. That would be a really great way to say thank you for this giveaway. But um, every comment is a chance to win one of the gift cards. We are giving away three gift cards today. Each giveaway is worth £25 to spend on the ASD Alex Xavier Designs store. So that's a great price to win. We also did a blog hop earlier and an Instagram hop as well. I will leave both linked in the description below. and They will be a little bit further down because of all the giveaway uh, information for the YouTube hop, but everything I mention here will be linked below. You might have to scroll a little further than usual. So if you want a chance to win more prizes, you can check out the blog hop and the Instagram hop as well. For my background, I am using <laughs> this gorgeous cover plate die uh, from the new release. This is the Tiny Dots cover die. There is also a coordinating hot fill plate and a stencil as well. I feel like tiny dots are a great background element. They go with everything. So I'm very happy that there is also a stencil and a hot foil plate available. Um, I think you can really mix them up together. I think I'm going to use a stencil soon, hopefully, to add more dots to the cover die or the hot foil plate. I think that would be really fun. I'm just going to spice this up a little bit with some black acrylic paint, just adding some splatters. I don't do this a lot, but I'm always happy when I do. I just don't like the mess, to be honest. My splatters always go everywhere. I think there's a way to control them. I haven't found it yet. <laughs> so I'm just adding some splatters. I do add my tulip image over top to check every once in a while while I'm doing the splatters. I think I cut that out of the video accidentally, but um, just to make sure that wherever I want splatters around my image, I have some. I'm using some Barely Art Precision Craft glue to glue this cover die to my white note card so you can see the white dots shining through the light gray cardstock. 
And together with the black splatters, I think this makes for a really quick but a very interesting um, background. To make this tulip a little bit more sturdy, because the stem is quite thin, I am going to die cut it twice, so once from white cardstock and once just my image, <laughs> and I'm just going to stack those together to get a little bit more of a sturdy tulip. This is not for dimension or I would have stacked more layers behind it. I am going to add some foam tape behind the flower part and behind one of the leaves. The rest I'm just going to glue down and the difference in dimension is going to bring this image a little bit more to life as well. I didn't want to add too much dimension to the stem because I want to, or to the base of this flower, because I want to overlap my sentiments with it and my sentiments are already stacked a couple of layers higher as well. So I'm just adding some liquid glue to the base there. My glue bottle was a little bit clogged so I really had to squeeze there. Um, but yeah, I am going to have this image um, go over the side of my card a little bit. I'm going to trim those off later. You can see it in the pictures at the end of the video um, because I hadn't trimmed it off before I showed the card in the video. So I'm going to add more dimension to this sentiment as well for any part that isn't overlapping the tulip. I have added a little bit of foam tape behind that sentiment. I am tucking that hugs um, hot foil plate. There is... <laughs> I should explain this. This hugs is from the Love and Hugs Hot Foil Plate set and there is a coordinating die set available which you can use all on its own as well. So it has a scripty layer which is exactly the same as the Hot Foil Plate here and there is a shadow layer which you can use to cut that Hot Foil Plate sentiment out. So I really like a uh, die set and hot foil plate sets like this for sentiments because I get a lot more use out of my sentiments if I can die cut them out. <laughs> I added a sub-sentiment as well. I just had this pre-prepped somewhere. It's from one of the Alex Herrera Designs stem sets. I'm not sure which one. I have a bunch of pre-prepared sentiments already. So once that's all adhered, I finished it off with some embellishments, uh, just some gold and pink ones. I really like these. Uh, I have been trying to mix embellishments on cards lately, and I really like how it, turned out, it turns out every time. So this is my finished card. I really, really love the colors on this um, against that soft gray background. I love this tulips uh, set. I think it's going to sell out really quickly. So all of the information where you can get these sets and all of the products that I used will be linked in the description below. I also have a release introduction video on my channel. I will leave that link below so you can see all of the new release. But for now, check out the next video in this YouTube hop. It should be Mindy Egan, which is always fun to watch. I always enjoy her videos. So go check that out and leave comments on each stop of the hop to for a chance to win one of the gift cards. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.